What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a uh, your kind of a typical, let's say, truck video. I haven't done a truck video in a while, but uh, I don't, you can't really see it. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can kind of see it from there, but uh, we gotta talk about my window, guys. Uh, I'm on my way to get it replaced, repaired right now, but first I need to get some diesel, and then uh, I'll make my way across town to Safe Flight, and I'm gonna hop out, and I'm gonna show y'all the, uh, the the stuff that happened this past weekend so I'm gonna kind of show you this the best that I can I just recorded this whole thing in manual focus I forgot to take it out of me mm, I forgot to take it out of manual focus and put it in auto but noob mistake so if y'all could see right here guys this is my window and uh, yeah it's really unfortunate F unfortunate yeah, yeah yeah I said that right lulz but uh yeah I don't know if you could tell from here, but no glass is in the interior of my truck. Thank you, 3M. Here, hold on, hold on. This is this is the stuff. Thank you, 3M. It's not gonna, it's not gonna focus on it. What's it say? Uh, Temper GS dot fit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of. I don't know what kind of tense it is. But I'm gonna hop out and I'm gonna show y'all what happened right here. So, I was at the gun range for the Triarch Systems Aerial Gunnery event, and uh, the second day, at the end of the day, uh, I was going to leave, and I walk up, and this is the first thing that I see. This glass right here, all sorts of busted, guys. Had no idea what it was. Uh, Chris, Tran, a whole bunch of the Triarch guys came over there, and we're all looking at it, and we just couldn't tell what it was. We had no idea. So, we were thinking and thinking and thinking, we looked everywhere, climbed on top, looked on the hood, looked all the way around, looked inside, made sure there was no penetration or anything like that. We just didn't know what it was. And uh, we kind of came to the conclusion that it had to have been this ricochet that we heard earlier that day at 218. My girlfriend actually, actually texted me and was like, what was that? And uh, it was a ricochet, everybody heard it, but it didn't sound like a typical ricochet, and I'm gonna show you why uh, I think it didn't sound like a typical ricochet in that that's actually what had happened was a bullet struck my window. So that day, there was a, there was a small streak right here that you could see, but it's washed off now. It's been rained on a few times. But the bullet came in damn near parallel, hit, the nose bit into the glass and then it flipped over, right? It flipped over, so the not the nose of the projectile, the butt end causes, the nose hits here, flips over, the butt end causes this, right? This whole, whatever you wanna call it, and then it flips, ooh. That sucks. It flips out and flies away. But we think that the bullet, the projectile itself, when it hit, flipped, hit again, and flew off, it was flying end over end. Not a, the typical, I don't know how you describe a bullet's projection. But yeah, we don't think it flew how it typically would. It flipped over, end over end, and it, uh, yeah. So my, uh, my truck was shot, pretty much. Uh, no clickbait, literally. Bullet, hit, hit right there, bounced flew off, ricocheted, everybody heard it. There was probably 30 or 40 people that turned around right whenever it happened. And then everybody was like, you know, what the hell was that? We couldn't even think about it because we knew it was a ricochet. We knew it sounded like one. We just never heard anything like that. And it's because of how the bullet was flipping, still supersonic. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. My, I'm looking at my viewfinder, my, uh, windows busted but you know as I was as I was saying earlier and I'll say again it could have been way worse guys it could have been somebody else it could have been somebody who honestly couldn't afford to fix their window on their vehicle like this or you know just anything the the bullet could have came in you know it would have been more expensive for me to replace one of these tires than it would have for this window this window is only 300 bucks but that bullet could have easily went through this glass I don't want to know how much that cost it could have went through one or two of these. It could have went through my back glass. It could have went right through this. It could have went through here, my windshield. 
it could have went through anything it could have went through my door hell a bullet could have went in straight through and into my engine you never know right and it's uh i don't know not the uh, uh not the best thing to think about but just kind of I don't know I'm one of those guys who always like wants to think the best out of a situation and it could always be worse so uh, yeah it could have been worse the bullet could have easily you know popped the tire went into my engine busted out three or four windows but instead it barely glanced flipped over flew off and I was fortunate enough to not even have any glass in my vehicle so I need to go over there I need to get this fixed let's hop in a truck uh, I gotta go. My appointment is in 10 minutes, guys. Uh, maybe they let me record. Maybe they don't. Probably not. So uh, after this, you're probably just gonna see the uh, fixed version of my window. But uh, I'm gonna go in there and get Safe Flight to fix my stuff, guys. I actually reached out to Safe Flight. I wanted to see if I could get some sort of like discount or promo code from them to offer y'all, my viewers, but. I uh, DM'd them on Instagram and they DM'd me at like noon today and that's literally like four hours before my appointment and they just like, hey, we'll look into it and then didn't really message me back. So <sighs> I tried, <sighs> I tried to get y'all, you know, a discount, a code or something through Safe Flight. You know, at least they responded to me on Instagram. I think that was pretty cool, but it was uh, like five days late. So I don't know. If there is anything, it'll be the first link in the description, guys. Uh, maybe, maybe not. So I gotta go get this window replaced back to, it looks so bad. Literally, I gotta go get this window replaced and then, uh, probably sometime this week I gotta get it tinted as well. So peace. And just like that, the, uh, the window is, it's fixed, but it's definitely not as tinted as that one anymore. Cause it obviously does not have any tint on it guys. Uh, I am currently at the gym waiting on my girlfriend to, to uh, bring some stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm glad that was finally fixed. I can now shut my door without the uh, pain and just, I don't know, just hoping that anytime I shut my door, my window is just going to come crashing down, if you understand what, if you just, if, if you know what I'm saying, but uh, there really wasn't much to this video, but uh, me just kind of explaining what happened and then uh, getting it fixed. You know, it's not every day that you have a, a window busted out. Uh, sorry there was no B-roll or anything like that. Any cool footage in this, but if you could, guys, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I'm really tempted, guys. I'm really tempted in uh, buying a diesel Colorado and uh, building one out. So leave your opinion in the comments I did a poll on Instagram a lot of people a lot of people like the idea of it so we'll just have to see uh, I don't know just thinking of something different if the numbers line up if you know what I mean but uh yeah guys thanks for watching that's gonna be it for me so glad my windows finally fixed hopefully I don't bust anything else out uh, the Sun is currently hitting me from through the window because there's no tint so I need to get that tinted as fast as possible uh, CJ's window tint here in Brian College Station did this truck and my last one so I'll be going back for sure but uh yeah that's gonna be the end of, the end of this one guys thanks smash the like button peace